think one of those those things is out here. It's close. <gasps> I hear footsteps. It's, it's getting closer. No, not the rifle. Gotta keep it covered. Okay, I gotta get back in the house. Gotta get back in the house. Oh, oh. Don't. Oh. Where, where's the wall? Where's the house? Oh. Don't look. Keep my eyes closed. Where's the, the door? Where's the door? Okay. okay. I gotta shut the door. Oh. What if one of them is in here with me? What if it followed me in the door? Okay. Oh, I hope one didn't come in with me. Here it goes. Hey guys, so my poor acting aside, I was trying to basically convey the feeling you get from Bird Box by Josh Mallerman. This is a psychological adult horror book. Um, there's no blood and gore. It is definitely all psychological. It all implies this feeling of terror you get throughout the entire book. I happen to listen to this as an audio book, which I think really lends itself very well to the storyline. Um, kind of puts you right in with the characters. As in not being able to see what's coming, it's only you're hearing it. So our main character is Mallory, a young woman. Um, she, at the beginning of the book, is living in a cabin in the woods uh, by a river, and she's raising two four-year-olds, a boy and a girl. And she's been preparing them for a journey where they will leave this cabin, where they'll risk their lives, and she's going to come to rely on them very heavily for their senses of hearing. Um, she has trained them to rely more on their hearing than their sight, because this is they are currently living in a world where there is some terror outside that if you see it will drive you mad and has driven people to commit suicide in the most horrific ways. Um, this particular book, every other chapter sort of shifts time. So we start out with Mallory and the four-year-olds and in the very second chapter, your four years previous, just when she's found out she's pregnant and living at home uh, with her sister. And there's lots of strange reports on the news that get more and more frequent. Pretty soon, um, everything seems to be shutting down. The internet, the TV, the radio, phones go dead. Um, and they're kind of cut off from the outside world. They don't really know more what's going on. And soon she finds herself alone and having to um, leave the apartment that they live in together and search for help. And she will soon come across uh, another group of people that um, you'll find out more about throughout the storyline. And then the next chapter you're jumped back into her present time with the four-year-old. So um, it was really interesting to see what leads up to this beginning moment, you know, she's preparing these children to leave, but she's going to blindfold them. She's terrified of what's outside, but they're going to go outside blindfolded. I don't think I could do that. If there's something out there that I am completely terrified of, I want to be able to see it coming, but in this particular world, you can't. You look at whatever it is, and you go crazy. So, it, it definitely lended itself to a very creepy feeling throughout the entire book. Um, you'd hear sounds, you'd hear... So you, you get sensations, the characters would feel like something was near them. Um, it, it really, really creeped me out as I was listening to this. Um, maybe just kind of want to shut myself in a room. Um, you never knew when you were safe, like like my poor acting in the beginning. You know, you'd even come into a room. Did something come in with you? How do you know? You know, um, it was just really, really intense and um, yeah, def definitely creepy. I love the character Mallory. Uh, she's a lot stronger than I think I could ever have been in that situation. Um, raising these two children, uh, at times she had to be uh, cruel. She had to make some really tough decisions. Um, she had to train those kids not to use their sight. And, um, yeah, it, it was... There's some other uh, characters. I don't want to get into a lot of the detail of the characters, um, but they're very well developed. I think the author did a very good job of kind of building this world and describing things, uh, but in an auditory, in a tactile sense, not in a visual sense, because these characters, when they're kind of traveling outside, having to go to a well for water or um, searching the neighbors' homes for food and things like that, they can't, you know, just walk out the door and, like, you know, The Walking Dead, going out looking for supplies. They had to 
feel their way. They had to listen to what was nearby. And that the author did a really good job of kind of putting you in that situation of not being able to use your sight. Um, very, very scary. Uh, it really, it kind of drove me throughout the whole book. I'd say my one, my one drawback to the book is sort of the ambiguous ending. It's sort of one of those you never really get answers to all your questions. And that does kind of bother me. That kind of took it down the star for me. Otherwise, um, I would have given this a perfect rating. But all that aside, it's still um, worth uh, picking up. I think, I like I said, I would recommend it as an audiobook. I think it just really conveys that feeling of terror more in an audiobook format. And uh, I think you'll really get a lot, of, a lot out of it if you listen to it rather than just read it. So I definitely give it my recommendation. Uh, overall, I gave it four stars on Goodreads. I hope you decide to give it a give it a try. So that's my review and my poor acting aside. Uh, but yeah, let me know if you guys have read it, what you thought about it, and I'll see you in my next review. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.